My name is Kenneth Pruitt. I'm the Vice President for Global Centers at Columbia University and a professor. And I speak to you briefly today about the case of Kian Tashbash, who, as everyone knows, is currently jailed in Iran and on trial. Kian is an American citizen. Kian is a scholar. Kian went to Iran for research purposes. Kian is currently a faculty member at Columbia University. This is not the profile of a political activist or agitator. In fact, well before the Iranian elections and the political uh, turmoil subsequent to those elections, Kian had accepted a position at Columbia University to teach and to continue his research. He will spend part of that in our Amman Center and then join us here in New York. This is not the behavior you would expect of someone who was engaged in political activities uh, in Iran. And if he were not in jail, he would be teaching with us here today. We urge the Iranian authorities to adhere to the standard practices and common understandings of international science and scholarship. These practices and understandings take for granted the importance of scholars of all countries moving freely across national borders. This depends on every country facilitating the entrance and exit of scholars. Impending this movement undermines international scholarship. We benefit from the fact that Iranian scientists and their scholars are part of the international scientific community. And Iranian scholars benefit from the right to enter and exit other nations to pursue their research interest. A strong international science is clearly in the interest of the world community including that of Iran. This helps explain why around the world scholars have petitioned for the release of Kion. Columbia University joins with its colleagues around the world in urging Iran to adhere to the standard practices and common understandings of international scholarship and to release Kion so that it can return to the classroom. Thank you.